Hey guys, my name is Raven Phoenix and welcome to the Structure of Man Learn to Draw the Human Figure from Your Mind training course. Okay, so in the previous lesson we went through the really imprinting, bolting into the mind, the structure of the invention of the human figure for the front view, right? We proved the concept of invention. We know that it's going to work. So the next thing to do is now to understand our invention from the back view, the back view, right? What should it look like? And here is where we're going to begin to understand really, really the, uh, uh, like the core understanding of how our mind thinks and understands things in these cognitive ways and through these very small microbursts of steps, right? So to explain this, we have to actually prove it as to what, what we're trying to get at, right? We, we can see that it, there, like this area here, how would we draw this from the back? The mind doesn't know, so we have to help it understand, right? So to draw the back view, well, I'm just going to draw it over here. It's really going to be the same exact thing. So here I'm going to draw out a line over here just like before for the back view and you're going to say that this is going to be basically the the height of the the figure right so when I do the when I mark out the crotch area it's going to be exactly the same right the crotch is going to be here and now when we get into the back view what should the formulas be well they're going to be exactly the same we just have to draw it a little differently right so we know that over here if we take from the crotch to the bottom and really just eyeball this and say that this is going to be over here, we know that the knees are going to be above this line. And from the crotch to the top, we know that the that the pec muscles, the bottom of the pec is going to be here, but obviously we cannot see it. Right, so we'll leave that just a marker over here for now. Right, we have to train the mind to understand. That's why we're putting these lines here. And we know over here this is where the navel is going to be and from the bottom of the pack to the top is going to be where the area for the chin is going to be. Right, so let's draw out the back of the head, which is going to be the, exactly the same thing as we drew out the front, just like this. Right, so the only difference here is that we're just going to draw a ball shape over here to signify that this is going to be the back of the head. And here I'm just going to mark it out like this right so to understand this it's really what I did was when when I was at the chain area in here I just divided this really in like these three different parts and really just drew a ball shape and this really gave me the average understanding of the back of the head now again all this stuff we're going to look at in detail so there's no question about it as to how we chose the size, right? So if I took this and divided this in three different parts like this, basically the last part here is how I did the circle. So this is the back of the human head. Okay, that's how simple we're gonna keep it. So over here where we were at the uh, bottom of the pack muscles, and this is where the chin is, In when we did the front, we just said just draw a V shape like this and draw out the the chest cavity right so from over here now this is where you'll see as to how the mind starts to grasp information over here when I when I did this is because there's an opening an oval shape over here so the neck can fit here meaning that this guy is really going to be on an angle which we will discover in the side view so from here from the back it's obviously just going to go like this and there is going to be no circle meaning that this guy really is not going to show at all, so I'm just going to erase it, but I'll still leave a little bit of, I can see the anomaly over here, because I want to be able to connect the clavicle. So it's going to be the same thing. Just look at it, eyeball it. This is where the bottom of the pack also is. So this is going to be basically where the nipples are going to be, meaning that my chest cavity is just going to be like, pretty much like this, right? So obviously I don't have to draw out those two nipple areas here, just so you know, you want to be uh, be able to eyeball this stuff or measure it out. This is how you do it, and you can just erase them later on. 
right and then we'll just go down like this then we know that okay with this is for the bottom of the pack this is really going to be the from here to here it's going to be the navel I'm going to move it up a little bit over here and then if I really just had divided this in three different oh sorry from here to here if I divide this in half and went down I knew that it's just going to be like this okay so this is the difference from the back so I'm just going to leave this line with this mark here because I'm going to show you something in just a little bit why this line this line here is also important to know right so from the front view we know that there was a cut over here but from the back view the cut is on the front so we really can't show much so meaning that when you come over here for now just do it like this and over here you could have just done it like this also if you wanted to right so this is now helping the mind understand okay I see what's going on this is how it looks from the front and this is how this thing will look from the back right so you can make it a little more oval shape if you want to just like this and that's it so now we move on here to the area for the pelvis how are we going to solve this how should it look like well we don't have to solve anything right now is because we can only solve this when we get to the side view of our invention because right now the we don't have enough information to give to the mind as to how it should understand this so for this it's basically going to be the same thing where the nipple is I'm just going to look at this and then this thing here just divide this right from here to here I'm going to divide this section in three different parts to know that this is really where the junction was for this here and just draw it the same exact way right I just need to show the line over here and where this line is right from the navel the crotch I divide this is I divided this in three different sections this is one two three the top one here is where the love handles are going to be on the other side and over here where this line is is I just know that this is where the ball joint is going to be knowing that it's really going to be very close to this area this is here it's going to be like just a little off that's it and then here I can just draw out the legs just like this right and again it's the same thing for the for the feet we're going to do it this way right there is we're keeping everything very simple because we do not want to bombard the uh, we we're learning from going through this exercise from the experience we're letting the mind uh, go through is that we we do not want to bombard the mind with too much information right so it's going to be the same concept over here so now we get to the uh, uh, this is the let me clean that up a little bit here this is where the the navel is so this is where I can just know based on this height here this is where the nipples are going to be I can just just do an imaginary line but really now you don't have to do this line anymore right because it's just common sense meaning that it's just now things should start to become obvious that obviously if this if this clavicle was over here here right we go in the middle and if I go like this I know that it's going to be on an angle over here I know that this, the ball joint is going to be here as long as it doesn't collide with this guy here right it's going to be here but it's got to follow that line over here and that's it right so if I had to eyeball this from here to here I can just do the same thing just like this right? so the clavicle now is going to be on the other side so we don't draw it here from the back just like this it's going in the front okay so once we have this we can just draw out um, let's say let's make the hand go like this in this direction make it like a pendulum over here this is going to be my area for my wrist and over here it's going to be the elbow joint and over here we can actually make this hand go like this in this way right so the area for the wrist is just like this and where the navel is we know that the elbow is going to be here right so remember this is the front and this is going to be our back right so there really wasn't much difference into how we drew out the figure 
we change this area here and we do this differently. Over here, we this we know is how we're going to how we understood it from here. But in the back, we know that we need to give more research into this area so we can draw out this toolkit correctly. So we can only do this again when we draw out the side view, and you'll see as to how your understanding of the figure is going to start to change and improve. So again, you can clean up these drawings as you do them um, and get used to your drawing process. Right? Sketch it out first and then lightly erase and then improve it as you move along. So I'll see you in the next lesson. Thanks.